Hi, Leo. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Leo Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, maybe you're dealing with a Leo and the message is actually for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, everything is located down below in the description box, my website link, Instagram handle. I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy things that I man, play around with um, over there. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you have just been here over the years and supported the channel. I appreciate it so much. Okay. Oh, all right, Leo, Leo, oh, right. Okay, so it looks like there's maybe been an interaction recently. We have the poet, this can be a creative person, like poet, you know, someone who goes through some kind of situation and then they find a creative way of expression. That's in the external environment, so that could be a person that you're dealing with. That could be significant in some way. You might be thinking a lot about this person, it could actually be important to your path in some interesting way. Um, maybe there's some significance there. Probably no coincidence about this, this lining up or this person coming in. Whatever that looks like for you. Because we have the Pilgrim. Which the reason why I stopped on this for a bit is because I've seen... This card doesn't come out a whole lot, but this week apparently it's popping up in quite a few readings. Okay, so the pilgrimage is pioneering on something. Sometimes it can be um, chasing a dream. Sometimes it can be a spiritual path. Like a lot of like I always recommend whenever this card comes out to read. The Pilgrimage by Paulo Coelho because it's a very good book. And his book, The Alchemist, is, of course, incredible. It's, it's such a good book. Okay, so we have The Sword, which talks about clarity, truth, boundaries, all that good stuff. And then we have The Warrior. All right. <laughs> okay, so we have Antimatter which is coming in in some particular way. And then we have Aurora Polaris. Um, Aurora Polaris is very natural beauty. Oh, this is almost like in the movie Maleficent. Aurora, I don't know why I thought of that. I love that movie, by the way. Okay. Um, let's just do a quick little switch up here. I see the King of Pentacles taking a peek at me. Yep, there he was. I didn't even make that up. Shall we? He kept flashing at me, so apparently there's some person here. You could be dealing with someone about finances or a job. Sometimes I always see this person as either a business owner or or if they're under an emperor, this is like a person in an upper management position. Do you know what I mean? So it's someone sitting in that kind of a thing. <laughs> you might be wanting to distance yourself from that. Dare, dare I say? Oh, is that why? Okay, so that's super weird that those came out together. Um, okay, so there's a person here. I don't feel like this person is bad or shady. This is like a person here that wants to get out of the chaos or wants to stay out of a sticky situation. Like this is a person here that will walk away like kind of, um, not my circus, not my, what's that saying? You guys know how I am with sayings. So this person, if there is some kind of... You're dealing with people in regards to money arrangements. Like, this is a couple. But something's going on with the finances. Um, Queen of Pentacles can be 
a big spender. They spend a lot of money. Um, also, like, kind of unorganized. So there's, like, concerns here. So, all right, Leo. So I'm not totally sure who this person is. It's literally that you are in the King of Pentacles position. And so for those of you, if you're dealing or you, you're maybe this Queen of Pentacles, I'm not totally sure. There's a manipulative element to this because we have the magician on the side down. There could be a person here. Um, this Queen of Pentacles... Yes, there can be jealousy here, or this Queen of Pentacles might have, like, struggle with money management and being organized. Right now, this person feels very disorganized, and I think this person has some, um, maybe manipulation patterns... We have the hermit in the right up. So you guys really need to apply this to whatever situation it can apply to. Either you guys are in a work environment and you're doing really well at work and, you know, looking very responsible, like you can handle yourself, you look really capable. Um, you might have someone else either like in an arena around you that is doing something not so good and I think it's out of jealousy I think because of whatever's happening for you and you might be trying to just keep as much distance as possible maybe for just this particular point in time because the pilgrim maybe that you've spirituality aside how much you guys are or are not connected to spirituality like I'm not gonna get too much into what your guys' spiritual beliefs are but the pilgrim is like you might actually be clearing generational trauma and stuff through you changing patterns from what you've seen this this could be in regards to your work situation because we've got strong pinnacle stuff here so it's either about the way that you make your money. For those of you, if, you're, if you own your own business, you could have this person here that's either a concern. Either you're in a relationship with this person, maybe even in business, and you might be concerned here. I'm just saying, like, you either want to distance yourself from this person, which might... That wouldn't surprise me very much, especially if you're concerned about the way that this person handles money or something about that is a concern there. And look at the Seven of Swords. There it is. What? So that's very interesting. Oh, they have a Page of Wands? So there's a Page of Wands over here. And then we have the Chariot. Okay. Okay. So you might look, there's a lot of travels. Okay. I'm going to say that like you might be traveling in and out of environments and some of them you can really tell the difference in how you feel depending on who or what you deal with. You know what I mean? So sometimes it can feel like you have to go in and deal with someone toxic. Like this could be, sometimes this could be like a teacher. I don't know the authoritative position that they sit in, but they're sitting in a position of authority, but they really are not <laughs> like the best energy. But there is someone super good here. It's either you or there's literally like two people that you're dealing with, okay? Not totally sure, but I mean, the warrior card, a lot of that can be working with like on um, body or it's, it's like the development that happens after you go through a victim and then you're a survivor and then you're a warrior. Okay. So because that's just how the world is. I don't know what to tell you, but this is good. So it looks like there's some boundaries that are about to be, you know, like drawing the line. 
in the sand here, especially if there's been a bit of a financial blur, that keeps coming in as some kind of concern. Like, there's a person here that is concerned about their financial status and being aligned with someone else and how things are manifesting at this time because like this is just how it goes we also have a person here this is either talking about the same person or there's literally someone else here in the mix that is a master manipulator okay and oh man this is really freaking leo so isn't it interesting that this is the card that out of all of them that would represent you so that can be a multitude of things that can talk about that sometimes when you get put around some of these people you become smaller in some way you could be talked down to, that could be something there, and I would really take that into some consideration, and pay attention to your sensitivities or what you pick up on, because the hermit could be, it's a lot of, I know this is going to sound really weird, but you literally have receptors on your cells that pick up vibrations in your environment, and you also have other systems that just kick into place when you're dealing with not only certain people, but environmental factors, which is, it can talk about fight, flight, or freeze response, or fawning. And when you're dealing with bigger energies here, or people that your subconscious knows has an element of power, your subconscious picks up on it, but even though, like, you might not totally interpret it, or things aren't necessarily communicated directly in front of you, people have, like, this that you can pick up on the sensitivities of, and your, what your body knows, like, what your gut knows is accurate, okay, and... I feel like it's intelligent to keep your energy out of this as much as possible because these feel like landmines, <laughs> you know, like you want to tiptoe in this environment and, um, you know, like just, yeah, there, like there's a lot of things This, this person is kind of, um, it's someone in business, like, or it's someone who's handling money, but they're, it's not in the upright. Also, for those of you, be cautious of, like, these, um, youthful, if there's, like, a youthful, very attractive person in your environment, very attractive, very flirtatious. I think that this person might not be straight up about something or I don't know. That's a little iffy right there because this seven of swords is like deception, lying. I And whenever it's associated with the page of wands, this is a person that is pretending to be bigger than they are. You know what I mean? Or trying to impress. Like, it could just be something along those lines. But, um, yeah, I was, like, picking up more on, like, that don't let these people make you small. Because it's, like, people could still be seeing you as this energy. And... Maybe the egos are too strong in here, but there's some good people mixed in here and out here and in and out of this situation. I don't know, but in general, Leo, you're you're very beautiful. You have a lot of apparently that is a mix. Oh, I guess that's part of what it is. Is you're very naturally beautiful, and there's a person here that is jealous. Ooh. Just tread cautiously, 
Okay. I'm going to leave it there, Leo. I'm going to jump over to the extended. If you want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But Leo, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.